Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and today we're gonna to be making a large scale pastel dried floral arrangement with pompous grass, baby's breath, some foraged materials and lots of little special touches to make this arrangement really pop. The star of the show here is the pink pompous grass that we're gonna be working with. Pompous grass is huge lately and I'm gonna share some of my tricks for prepping pompous grass so that it's nice and fluffy and doesn't shed too much. We're also gonna be filling out the arrangement with some bleached Italian ruscus, dried phalaris to add nice texture, baby's breath, which is a nice budget material. You can often get large bunches for under $20. I'm also going to be spray painting baby's breath with a pink spray paint to add a really nice pop of color. These are some reeds that I foraged from the side of my parents' house. You can often find these growing in marshy areas. I also bought this dried palm leaf. These are Queen Anne's lace that I got from a field, again, near my parents' house. They grow everywhere. These are also pink bunny tails. And then if I feel like the arrangement needs to be filled out a little bit more, I'm gonna be incorporating this sort of marshy, fake pompous grass that I, again, cut from my parents' backyard. This grows invasively in Ontario and I happen to have some in my house and it's gonna be going in a vase this size. The diameter is actually really narrow, so it's going to create the illusion that this arrangement is more full than it actually is. The first thing that we're gonna do is to fluff out the pompous grass a little bit more. So what we're actually gonna use is a blow dryer. Everybody always makes fun of me for this blow dryer because it looks like it's from the 80s, and it probably is, but it's super powerful. They don't make blow dryers like this anymore. Some shedding will occur, but that's okay. Then from a little bit of a distance, we're just gonna give it a nice spray to avoid shedding. Bing. We're gonna do some um, spray painting of this baby's breath. This has been dried out. It only takes like one week for it to dry out and just go from a distance of like one to two feet. Always give your spray paint a shake before you go for it. There it is, super pretty. So I actually really like how that looks. So I'm gonna dye a couple, oops. So I'm going to spray paint a couple of the Phalaris. I'll keep some natural and then I'll do some spray painted pink. Cute. To start, I'm gonna work with kind of the bushiest, fullest materials. You can put your material in the vase and kind of eyeball it so I can see it's a little bit taller than I want it to be. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the bottom. Great, I'm gonna cut this one a bit more. It's totally fine to try things out. Better to cut off not enough than too much. There's no going back from that. So next I'm going to cut down the spray painted baby's breath. I want to have these pieces sit a little bit lower in the vase and that's gonna kind of anchor all of the other pieces. I also decided in the end not to spray paint all of the baby's breath. So I'm gonna position one of the baby's breath closer to the front and then one closer to the back. I'm gonna cut these so that they're sort of at different layers. So so I'll have one that's tall, one that's medium, and one that's a little bit shorter, tucked closer to the front. Pretty! So now that we're almost there, we're just gonna add in the more decorative pieces, and I'm gonna kind of have them coming out at different heights closer to the front of the arrangement. Now I want to add a little bit more visual interest by introducing some pops of green. So I'm gonna be doing that through this dried palm leaf, and I'm just gonna position it front and to the side. I'm gonna be putting in a couple of these swamp reeds that I got at the side of my parents' house. You can also use dried palm leaves. I'm just gonna randomly sprinkle in these dried Queen Anne's lace. Okay, super exciting, we're almost there. Now I'm just going to add in a couple sprigs of this kind of free, fake pompous grass just to add in a little bit more of those browns and neutrals and fill it out just a little bit more. And there you have it. That is the dried floral arrangement. All in all, this arrangement cost me $70 to make, so it was still a little bit pricey, but I kept costs down by incorporating items that I foraged myself, and I will include all of the prices and places where you can order these materials online in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.